You are not a phase. You're a force. Please scroll on. If this doesn't resonate, someone has realized this about you. They're not ready to give up, but they also believe you would have left them anyway if they hadn't ended things. That doesn't mean they really wanted to end things, though. I'm getting a real energy of someone who wants to come back. Yeah, not ready to give up. Still dream of you. Whoa. You were protected from me. You are too good to be true. I regret how I treated you, but I will never admit it. Yeah. See, they know that. They really didn't feel like they were good enough. Wow. No one else has this effect on me. Never going to give you up. <laughs> I knew better. I want you. I want to come back. Yeah. Oof. Oh, this also came out. I am drawn to your light. And you make me feel understood. You know, let me see what the cards say about you giving them another chance. It was a divine intervention, not luck. That's That was the intention I had when I picked up the cards. I'm just here to tell you this. You saw this person or something happened recently. That's what this whole reading's about. That's the energy. I'm just confirming you already knew this. You already felt this energy coming in. This is what you already felt. My readings are to guide you. You're doing better than you think. Yeah, intuition-wise, especially. There's some reason, like, you were supposed to see them. Like, nothing happens by accident. This, um, okay, yeah, I'm really getting the feeling of, did you go out of town? Look, I've had this kind of stuff happen, too. Where you go out of town, and it's the last place. I mean, you really thought, okay, I'm not going to see anybody I know here. And you see, like, everybody you know. <laughs> or you see this, you know, somebody that you, just the last person you ever wanted to see. And it's in the last place you ever thought, look. If you're supposed to be to see this person, you're going to see him. You can't get out of it. Peacemaker, though. that's That comes out as I'm talking about this. Be a peacemaker with this person. Reliable. They couldn't, they can't rely on you anymore. You do not have to be reliable to them. Okay? Hmm. <laughs> you're already equipped reflection. This is about you saying no. Because for some, they're a big test for you to say no. They're not quiet, though, like, that you've heard from them. This is, I'm not going to say, yeah, I mean, pretty much no contact, but you've heard from them since then, more than likely. If not, um, some of you have just had a lot of thoughts about them. Yeah, like you hadn't thought about them in a long time, now you are, maybe you're asking for a sign. Clear mind. I pray I manifest that you will have a clear mind and know the right decision to make. Because, yeah, this is a big big decision, isn't it? Yeah. Um, reflection. Mm. It's about you reflecting. The answer is already within you. You already know what to do. Have faith that you know what to do. Your spirit. God has spoken to you. This is the energy to end this reading. We claim this energy. You are successful. Nothing stands in your way. You are protected and you are free. That's interesting. That two things about protection. And look, you need to know this. You've gone on to success. Nothing's going to stand in your way. You're free. Like, that's the thing. This person takes a lot, don't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it's like. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This energy's been coming through a lot, a lot. And it's the energy of someone who just... Maybe it's just the wrong time. It could be a timing issue. That could be the protection. Because sometimes it's wrong, right person, wrong time. And I'm not trying to say that it was meant to be. I just mean, you're here for a higher purpose than finding a person. I'm sorry to tell you that. I know some people don't believe that, but anyway. This is someone who, there's a secret fear of yours that they're going to hold you back from something. Oh, that's your intuition. That's your intuition. You need to pay attention to that because we're so conditioned to romanticize people and see them in like such a rosier way than they are. You know, because that's the thing is we, when we fall in love at times and people call it limerence, there's, anyway, you can look that up if you want to. It's where you basically just have this like fanci fanciful, romant romanticized version of someone in your head, like a crush, sort of. It's sort of like the honeymoon phase of a relationship, I guess you could say. Like you romanticize who they are. Well, if you really got who th with them, are they really that person? Um, that's who this person is for you. You know, I manifest that you draw in the person that you want because this, no, this is something happened here. It's not meant to be. If it's, if it's meant to be with this person, let's manifest that it is, that it will happen. There's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, 
there was some reason you were need, you needed to see that person, but you need to know that you are free and that you're equipped to deal with it. If you were meant to have this person back in your life, make sure it's peaceful, have a clear mind, and know that um, you can leave anytime. If this person's making you feel uncomfortable, like I said, it, I just feel like they hold you back. That's the that's what you need to go with because I know. Look, there are times I've been at the beginning of a relationship. Oh man, oh this is hard. This is hard to talk about. But I'm just gonna say I should have listened to my instinct. Instinct spoke to me loud and clear, or in, in, intuition, I should say. It's really the same thing for me, at least. And, um, you know, intuition said, this is happening, or this is going to happen. You know, I even had flashes of it, but nope, told myself, no, no, no. Always see the best, you know. Person needs me for whatever reason. And you know, anyway, you, you don't need to lose yourself to this. That's the whole thing. That's the energy I'm getting, is you feel like you're going to lose yourself to this person. Look. Go with your instinct. Go with your intuition. How many times has your intuition guided you in the right way before? Think about it. Maybe you're the same way. Maybe you could look back at other at relationships you've been through or been in or even friendships or jobs or anything. I know it's happened to me so many times. Oh, gosh. It's painful to think about. Where, like, as soon as I walk in the door, like, let's say someone's house or, I don't know, I come into a room where it's the first day of whatever this is that's going on. There's just this thing that kicks in and says, this isn't going to work. This is going to be a waste of your time. And I'm like, no, no, no. And then it happens. Now, sometimes I wonder, am I bringing that in subconsciously? As I talk about it, I wonder. But, nah, I think there are times, like, the reason you're bringing it in some subconsciously is because that's what's happening in the natural. Like, that's just your intuition. Like, I do believe we're in control of our destiny. I do believe we're co-creators and that we can create things. Anyway, I just think you need to trust your intuition about this person. Um, because you can't change them. That's the thing. It's When it comes to people, I guess that's, that's another way to look at it. You can't control what someone else does as much as you want to. Like I said, I mean... I still believed in the past that this person can change or this, you know, I'm going to hang in there because of this, because of that, especially at the beginning of a relationship when you really romanticize that person. And then as you get to know them, it's like, okay, this is not the person I thought they were. Or, you know, why am I so miserable? You know, like, why do I feel like a shell of a person? Why am I, you know, anxious, depressed? And my life isn't my own anymore. That's the energy. Oh, I'm so sorry. It could be somebody that you could just have in your life part-time. There are those people. It's up to you. I, oh, gosh. Because I, I look back and there are certain people who really drained me because it got very codependent. And I've thought, you know, there are times I actually miss that person because there were good times. But it the problem is it couldn't just stay once in a while. That person had to have me all to themselves all the time. And this has happened to me repeatedly. If, I'm, if this reading is for you, I that this has happened to you as well that's who my collective is it's okay you're protected let's manifest let's i'm going to draw this energy and i'm going to i'm meditating right now we're imagining this and we're asking god for it we're, we're putting it in god's hands we're trusting <laughs> we're trusting this we're manifesting this we're just going to imagine this with unconditional love for our highest good to the harm of no one that we get healthy if that if that, that's what you want you get healthy relationships with people who build you up who lift you up who you're stronger together than apart and i'm talking about family friends romantic whatever it is for all of us that we find the people that lift us up that are are strong where we are weak and vice versa and that we feel free and independent and successful even when we are with them nobody would need protected from we are protected it is spoken it is written and so it is amen